This is so weird. Hello. Without getting into it, it's been a time. I think last y'all saw me, I had short, half blonde hair. It was the beginning of 2023, uh, and then I just disappeared. So, sorry, my bad. Life got in the way, but things are good now, or at least getting better. And the most exciting thing, I think, of this new chapter in my life is that I do have my dream library set up. I mean, obviously, I would love to have more shelves, especially since, you know, I'm only going to read more books. I have always dreamed of having just a wall of shelves, and I have finally achieved that. And it's so exciting. I'm so happy that in my soft return to booktube like this is what i get to show you all i will say a couple things first of all i am filming on my phone so if i'm never looking at the camera directly it's because like i don't know where the camera is i just keep looking at myself and then the clips that you guys are about to see have been taken over several weeks so i got my bookshelves on december 16th like the actual shipment and then i spent the last 10 days putting them together and planning and whatnot and rearranging it. It's at a place right now where I feel really happy with it. Uh, but that being said, there's always room for changes, improvements. Obviously, like as I read more books, I'm going to be adding more books to the shelves. Where it is right now, I'm super happy with it. The first part of this video is going to be time lapses of me putting my shelves together. And then the second half of this video will hopefully be a little tour of what I've got going on. I'm hoping that this can serve as kind of like a, a benchmark so I can look back in time and see how my shelves have transformed over time. Again, I'm like super excited not only to be making content again, but to be sharing this with you because it's such an important part of my space and my life. Like it's my little happy space. And so I'm super excited to share it all with you guys. Somebody wanted to say hi. What do you think, Tala? Should we get on with the video? She said, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, I plan on filming the intro when I'm all done up and like we're at the end of the process. So if I look like Dookie right now, it's because I did not plan to film the intro. Today is the day we got the shipment, which means it's building day and I will take you along with me. I will say, so I already have two Ikea Billy bookshelves that I've built before. I built them this year, so hopefully it won't take me that long. I do have two to build, so I got two tall Billy bookshelves I'm gonna have four tall across and then hopefully like the smaller one will go on that side we gotta go make it happen first let's start <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
on the screen here a rough plan of what I had for my shelves going into it. So I had two Billy bookshelves going into this setup and then I ended up buying two more Billy bookshelves with two height extensions. I think I have a total of four extra shelves on these shelves themselves. So they you have to buy extra shelves in order to put more shelves on a Billy bookshelf. Um, and then I also have a half Billy bookshelf that goes on the side. But I tried to stick to this plan as much as possible. Of course, at the end of the day, like not everything went to plan. Like I had a lot more books in certain genres and other genres. So I had to move things around. I'm pretty happy with how it ended up. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what's on my shelves. Again, um, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but my camera's out of commission, so I am using my phone. This is not gonna be the most elegant bookshelf tour, but I will do my best. <laughs> So these are the shelves in their entirety. I love how it looks like put together. I know there are some empty spaces that I still need to fill in. Um, and of course, I am filming this in the afternoon so the lighting is suboptimal, but you'll just have to bear with me. I will start with my reading chair. So if y'all remember, I did get a secondhand reading chair a while ago when we first moved to San Diego. I kept it, um, it's my favorite thing. I just did it up with some pillows and blankets that I got from uh, home goods and then I have like this fake fireplace right here with a table just so like when I'm reading I have my drinks and then my annotation supplies all right next to me right there so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the shelf on the left this is my little half Philly bookshelf at the very top these are a bunch of books on my TBR my physical TBR that right below that these are two shelves of paperback YA fantasy this shelf is still my CD shelf so all of my CDs there's two layers I've started a second layer because I have so many CDs and then at the very bottom is my Percy Jackson collection the first big shelf does have a height extender on it and I'll just go from top to bottom the height extender has a series in hardcover that I have. I then a continuation of more hardcover series. These are all going to be adult fantasy. This is Amaya. So this next shelf is now paperbacks of fantasy series and standalones. These are like the taller paperbacks. So these shelves like are a little wider. This shelf I will say was empty for a while. So I just put some favorite hardcovers down here with the Ikea book lover sign. Underneath that we do have some of my favorite YA fantasy duologies and then there's more underneath there that are not duologies but series or standalones but these ones in particular like either I love the covers or I love the series themselves so I wanted them like on display in a way. And then at the very bottom here I just have a bunch of arcs and extra copies of books. Oh and I forgot to mention um this is my middle grade shelf, so it has my Aru Shaw books, my hardback middle grade books, and then all of my paperback middle grade books with a dupe kaboom lunchbox and some art supplies. Moving on to this middle shelf, first of all, let me introduce you all to Balthus. Um, in the time that I've been gone, I've become a plant mom, and I'm doing a pretty good job of it. I will say you saw maybe in that last time lapse clip that I had to remove a bunch of books because I accidentally overwatered Balthus and then the water started dripping down his vine. So that was uh, a mistake, <laughs> but now I learned my lesson. Um, I've got my only vinyl record up there as well as uh, two fancy hardbacks of uh, classic sci-fi books that I love. The first two shelves are going to be um, adult fantasy paperbacks. So the top shelf is specifically for series and the second shelf is for standalone books. These are going to be my favorite fantasy series that I have in paperback. I finally got the UK paperback for Burning God while I was in New Zealand earlier this year. It look, it, look at how pretty this is. Look at, I love it. Um, and then I found, it was such a steal, I found secondhand the UK covers for Spin the Dawn and Honor of All the Dust. Like, look at how gorgeous these are. I like screamed in the store when I saw these because they're just like, they're so pretty and I'm so glad that I have them to display like this. And then this is going to be my Greek mythology shelf. It's a little sparse, I know, but I have a lot of like Greek mythology inspired or Greek mythology retelling books on my shelf. 
So it's it's gonna fill up as time goes on. I do have an empty shelf right here, which is okay because my armchair kind of blocks it for the most part. Um, but yeah, I will have more room for more fantasy books here as time goes on. And I'm just using this Halloween candy bucket to hold some like extra decorations and bookend. Okay, and then this is going to be my nonfiction shelf. There's not a lot. Natural science, historical nonfic, and then like personal improvement kind of books. I don't know what to call them, but that's kind of like how I have organized them. To my best friends, if you're watching this video, please now look away. <laughs> These are two buckets that I have to collect presents for my best friends. So now onto the third shelf. On top, I've got my kids book, my Olala Noi Ao, my icon light stick, and then this like Halloween decoration that I'm just gonna leave up because it looks cool. These two shelves are going to be my horror, thriller, mystery books with, again, my favorite one sticking out. This is probably the most packed section I have and I expect that I'm going to need to expand it pretty soon. Peep this next to Summer Suns, of course, if you know, you know. Um, these are going to be hardback books that I love, as y'all know. Um, some of my favorite reads of the year include One for My Enemy and then The Last Tale of the Flower Bride. I'm so glad that I got them in hardback so I can display them like this. Okay, and then right below that are two shelves of my romance books, again with my favorites facing outwards. Y'all know the drill. I got sodas with the Sailor Moon characters on it, so I kept the cans of Neptune and Uranus because, uh, yeah. These last two shelves are going to be my classics. Um, they are in no particular order or organized at all, just kind of like what can fit on this shorter shelf versus what can fit on this normal shelf. Alrighty, and my last shelf is my second shelf with a height extender, so up here I have a bunch of contemporary books and my, as well as my Mariah Carey autobiography, cause you know I love me some Mimi. Um, and I had to have her on like full display. So that was the only place that I could really have her. Um, the next two shelves are going to be my contemporary reads. I know that there's a lot of like disaggregations that can happen with this genre, but for now it's all kind of like lumped together. And then this middle shelf here is going to be more contemporary reads, but they're kind of like all of my favorites, I guess. So yeah, this is like a lot of my favorites. And it just so happens that they're like all pink. So I pulled out a bunch of like my pink themed trinkets to put on this shelf. I think it looks super cute. Like, look at that theme, we love it. And then this next shelf is going to be some YA contemporary hardbacks, but these are more like of the creepy side of the hardbacks that I own. I wouldn't say creepy, but like, they're kind of like thrillers or horrors. These last two shelves are just going to be the rest of my YA contemporary collection, all in paperback, of course, um, except for this stack of hardbacks. Those are what my bookshelves look like currently. I know that it was very repetitive. I mean, I'm just so excited. Like, I would just be saying, like, I'm so excited. I love this so much over and over again. So I tried to, like, steer away from that. Um, but I hope you can tell that, like, this is me like making my dreams come true and I feel so blessed and so happy that I have this opportunity. So yeah, I cannot wait to take on 2024 with y'all and to and to see how my shelves evolve and grow and just get better and better as time goes on. So yeah, thank you all so much for tuning in. I know it's been such a long time, but I appreciate each and every one of you who stuck around. If you're new, welcome. I hope you have a good rest of your day and a good rest of your week, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.